this thing is in really nice shape. Check out the steering wheel. Got carbon fiber. It's the original wheel. It's been uh, redone in carbon. It's leather. Leather wrapped is really good too. I'm wondering if these seat covers are original because they are perfect. Maybe completely out of gas. I mean, it's off the chart. Okay, first start, let's try it. It's got some gas in it now. Runs good. All right, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna put it in gear. Shuts like a new car. Do that again. Incredible. really nothing to nothing to lift on yeah let's try that you on? Uh, we're touching the front let me see we're pretty close right there yeah keep going oh it appears we are only front wheel drive oh yeah I didn't realize that so okay I thought it was three wheel drive Uh, Bluetooth drive shaft. That's the one I was squeaking on that. There you go. Alright, cool. There you go. New muffler. Brand newish. Okay, once I take this cap off, it should start pouring. So. No, no. Thirty-two millimeter. gonna drip forever.
Okay. Uh, wasn't too bad. Oh, that looks pretty. Brand new. Nice. Okay, so now the slave cylinder is already disconnected. We've got to pull that 10 millimeter. Let's see. Pull that out with this 10 millimeter and uh, remove the release for the clutch fork. Ugh. Moving the whole engine. All right, so let me show you what we did. The cover that goes to the slave cylinder uh, clutch fork, clutch fork that goes right here this is the pin that holds it in this is the cover that covers it up so it's supposed to be removed with a 10 millimeter allen to 3 8 and uh, from everybody I've seen on the videos you just gently pull on it yeah and it comes off no that's not what happened on this so we had to it started to strip on me so um, we got a 3 8 to 10 millimeter Allen swivel to one extension and come around here there is a hole that's already in the car this is for the ABS uh, wheel speed sensor and you can run an extension through that hole and come up and then meet that extension into this extension and go all the way into there and then we had to use a two foot cheater bar, or two foot breaker bar, and had to put a little bit of heat on it. It was dumb, it was dumb, we should have recorded it. But uh, yeah, finally came off. So in case you have a, a lot of trouble pulling this, this cover off, there is a way to run a long extension and, uh, and get it off. So now we've got a six millimeter, six by uh, one millimeter bolt bolted into the pin that holds the clutch fork. Okay. Okay, that clutch looks very stock, as in very 2,000 miles. It's pretty crispy. Look at that uh, oil drain right there. So, oil feed comes in through here, oil drain comes through here. And uh, looks like they had to modify the oil drain with this red hose, and that bottom is just caked on with oil. So the AC bracket, and then back to the turbo bracket. 